2025 Skoda Felicia pickup, what to expect? If you look at renderings made by renowned digital artists, you will see an incredibly rugged Skoda pickup that follows the brand's latest design language in terms of headlights and grill, but also comes with aesthetical solutions that characterize genuine off-roaders. Massive tires, a wide stance, and a full load of black plastic cladding those are just some of the things we can see in these images. Moreover, massive skid plates and bumpers that maximize approach and departure angles are also there, but we don't really think that this is the direction Skoda wants to go. Namely, even though, as a part of Volkswagen Group, Skoda would probably get access to Ford's pickup platform that underpins the new Amarok, we are pretty sure that Skoda's vision of a pickup is a little bit different. Once again, we can refer to the original Felicia in its pickup iteration. That was essentially a commercial vehicle, simple and affordable, and we are pretty sure that these are also the main keywords for the new pickup. So instead of a massive and sturdy body-on-frame construction, expect to see something small and highly maneuverable. Expect to see compact dimensions in combination with flexibility that ensures various configurations. In other words, the new Felicia pickup should be ready for all kinds of applications, both as a family hauler and as a commercial vehicle. These are different times when customers are starting to acknowledge all the benefits of an open cargo area. So besides the work-oriented single cab variants, which could also come as panel vans, the new 2025 Skoda Felicia pickup is expected to come as a double cab pickup, stretched and spacious enough to accommodate smaller families. Platform and technical details. We already established that just like the original Felicia, the new one is going to be designed with affordability in mind. Thankfully, that has always been Skoda's area of expertise. Even though the Czech manufacturer has also been releasing some pretty impressive car designs that got very close to Volkswagen's quasi-luxury level, but this time, it's about keeping things simple. So the first thing to talk about is the platform. Of course, the choice would be the MQB architecture in its A0 variation, which underpins a variety of small and affordable cars within the group. Moreover, the company recently introduced the A0IN version of the platform, primarily for the Indian market, even more simplified and therefore cheaper. A pickup needs to be sturdy, durable, and reliable, and the new Felicia would be like that, even with a unibody platform, because it's no secret that Volkswagen Group traditionally makes some of the most rigid construction in the automotive industry, while the pretty basic suspension setup would also help. Models like Scala or even Kushak might be the direct donors of the suspension setup, which may not be the most refined around, but ensures durability and reliability. In practice, that would mean a simple McPherson strut at the front, while the rear suspension would be all about that solid axle that would also be quite beneficial in terms of hauling and towing, not to mention low maintenance costs. Speaking of lowering costs, some sources even speculate about drum brakes on the rear wheels, and it wouldn't be the first time to see them in modern day vehicles. Powertrain and performance. The new Felicia pickup will be small and affordable, but that doesn't mean that there will be any compromises in terms of performance, no. The new model will be relying on familiar powertrain options that can be found in various other Skoda models across the range. The offer would most likely start with a small 1.0-liter turbocharged three-cylinder petrol engine, which may be offered in a couple of variants regarding powertrain. With 95 to 115 horsepower, and to enhance affordability even more, the base version of this engine could also come with a five-speed manual. Still, most variants would probably come with a more modern six-speed unit, and besides the more powerful three-cylinder option, this gearbox is expected with a more powerful 1.5-liter Turbo 4, a well-known unit that powers an impressive range of models within the group. Its most popular version is the one with 150 horsepower, and what's also important to point out is the max torque of 250 newton meters, which should be plenty enough to move this small pickup with ease. Moreover, some more expensive variants could even include a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, which would elevate performance to the next level. With that transmission, famous for its lightning-fast shifts, as well as the Turbo 4 engine, we believe that the Felicia pickup would be able to hit 100 kilometers per hour in less than 8 seconds, which will definitely help this pickup to be ahead of potential rivals, such as the Dacia Duster pickup, for example. But can Felicia keep up with Duster's excellent off-road performance? That's another question that comes to mind. The new pickup could be offered with an all-wheel drive system, but that's still the same front-wheel drive bias unit based on a Haldex differential that's not exactly as capable as Dacia's Nissan-sourced four-wheel drive. Finally, let's not forget that this is also a commercial vehicle with a strong orientation to potential business purposes. 
which clearly indicates there's going to be a diesel version as well. That would probably be a 1.6 liter turbo diesel, another well-known and proven engine, which has been updated recently and now is able to meet even the most strict emission standards in Europe and other potential markets. That engine comes in a couple of output variants, but we presume that the one with 95 horsepower would be used. And since we are talking about a pickup that could expand to markets like India or even South America, let's not exclude the possibility of seeing CNG variants either. What are your thoughts on such a powertrain lineup? Do you think diesel is still the number one choice in this class? Or maybe Skoda should try some sort of electrification? We would love to hear your opinion, so do not hesitate to leave a comment. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, it means a lot to us. Now let's get back to the point, to one of the most important aspects of the new pickup, interior design. Simply Clever has been Skoda's slogan for a long time and represents the company's design approach which is all about making features easier to live with. It refers to the overall design of the vehicle, but all those super practical and convenient interior features have always been the first thing coming to our minds. So nothing less is expected from the new Felicia pickup. It should come with a full pack of smart and practical solutions. We're talking about all kinds of storage compartments, convenience features, and accessories as well as the overall design of the vehicle, but modern Skoders are much more than that. Modern Skoders are not just about pure functionality. Days of bland cabin interiors are gone, and nowadays, every Skoda looks attractive from the inside. Of course, the Felicia shouldn't be any different, and if we take affordability into account again, there's a big chance that the new pickup is going to feature the same or very similar dashboard to the aforementioned Kushak, which isn't a bad thing at all. In that small crossover, Skoda found a perfect balance and brought a cabin that utilizes mostly hard plastics and other low-rent materials, but still looks pretty elegant and stylish. Of course, it's partly because of the aesthetical approach and excellent build quality, but it's also because of the long list of standard and available tech features. For example, there is a massive 10-inch infotainment screen, USB ports, wireless charging, etc. Moreover, higher trim levels would also come with those stylish chrome inserts and ventilated leather upholstery to make this pickup feel quite upscale. But once again, practicality is expected to be the keyword, especially in the case of the double cab version, which should be a perfect vehicle for small families. Despite the compact dimensions, there should be enough passenger room in both rows, while the cargo bed will only bring an extra dose of flexibility. With Skoda's simply clever approach in mind, a kind of mid-gate that connects the cargo bed with the cabin seems like such a logical feature in this pickup. Release date and price. Allegedly, Skoda's pickup is already in an advanced stage of development and unofficial sources suggest it could arrive already in the next year. As for the price, we already mentioned that affordability is a top priority, but until we get a few more precise details about the design and specs, it's hard to come up with more precise predictions. What do you think about the revived 2025 Skoda Felicia pickup? Is this the future of affordability and practical transportation? Is this a pickup you would buy without hesitation? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching and see you next time!